to say a few words uh, as, as part of this morning's uh, official launch of the event. Gee, it's Mr. O'Donnell Kigley. Hello everybody, I'm Ronan Quigley. I'm the current chairperson of Corlin and O'Kundaloo and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to speak here today. I'm here to talk about inclusion for young people with disabilities. My beliefs are people need to look at the person, not the disability. When you see the disability before the child, it is not only wrong for the child, but it deprives society of all that that child has to offer. Society can include children with disabilities because when they play a full part in society, everyone benefits. For instance, inclusive education broadens the horizons of all children, even as it presents opportunities for children with disabilities to fulfil their ambitions. More efforts to support integration of children with disabilities will help tackle the discrimination that pushes them further into the margins of society. I myself believe with more resources, teachers and special needs assistance, many, if not all children, could attend with what is known as mainstream schools. These children should have the opportunity to mix with all children. Autonomy and inclusion, choice and control, dignity and equality. Most people take these for granted as part of their everyday life, but for many people with disabilities, they are often everyday dreams everyday challenges, everyday struggles. I would like to wish everyone involved in the Here I Am event the very best of luck over the next week. Thanks very much. Beautifully expressed, Ronan, and uh, sorry about the, the slippy mic. Uh, I call on uh, Councillor Maria Doyle now uh, to speak. And um, I should, I, I, Maria, would you mind if I just... Uh, I, I, sh I should have said it in, in, my, in, in my initial words, but I just wanted to call Maeve Yor forward. Maeve, would you come forward here for one second? Um, Maeve, Maeve uh, was part of yesterday's drama, and uh, I just wanted to uh, th th thank her uh, for, for being such a support. Her network is incredible, truly incredible, and that's probably why a lot of you are here today. So let's hear it for Maeve. So, uh, the Chair of the Dock Municipal District, Councillor Maria Doyle. Good morning everyone. I was really, really honoured when councillors Mark Deary and Maeve Yor asked if I would officiate at this morning's launch. Um, it's my first official function as the newly elected chair of Dundalk Municipal District, so I'm really, really thrilled to be here. Um, these photographs were taken by Kerry photographer Dan Murphy, and they were originally for a book which is uh, here in front of me and is actually available uh, to purchase in the tourist office behind me. Then they were transformed into this really amazing, wonderful photographic exhibition that we all see here this morning. This is the first such exhibition to be held at the Market Square, and I really do hope it's the first of many, because I think you'll all agree it's a, it's a really, really ideal location for it, and the pictures really come to life here on the Market Square. I think these photographs are amazing, and I think that the, the beauty, the warmth, the fun, and the love of each and every child that's featured in these pictures really, really radiates from them. They're really, really wonderful and I think we're so thankful and proud to have them here in Dundalk. But getting such an exhibition together, as, as Mark alluded to, is, is no easy feat too. And so therefore, on, on behalf of, of Mark and Maeve, I'd like to, to make a few thank yous. I'd like to thank Connell and Deirdre Kelleher, who prompted Mark to lift the phone and see if he could make it happen here in Dundalk. Their daughter, Sive, is in, featured in one of the pictures. A special thank you to Carmel Deary and her son, Peter. Peter is... Um, is featured in the book that's uh, here in front of me. To Mary Kaplis from Loud County Council for managing the provisions in relation to the square. Dennis Darcy in the Arfa's office for his advice. And as Mark mentioned, to Hanlon Transport for their huge, huge generosity in transporting the exhibition from Monaghan to Dundalk. BK Forklifts for their help with the installation. Meridian Security from RD for their services over the coming weekend. Fiona Cunningham. I saw her earlier, she's here somewhere, Fiona Cunningham uh, from the Bids office and Sinead Roach from the Tourist office for their support and advice and for selling the book that goes with the exhibition for the week. Digital Bakery for their social media work and the staff at Down Syndrome Ireland for their administrative backup. I think Pat Clark from the Loud Meat branch is here this morning. Derek Turner 
for sound, engineering and equipment. Lee Moniker and his fellow musicians for the lovely music that we heard this morning. Arn Gartha Siakana and in particular Darren Kirwan for his commitment to the exhibition. And to all the local media, Dundalk Democrat, the Argus, the leader, LMFM and Dundalk FM. I'd really like to thank Ronan and Menina um, who are here this morning to help me officiate and I think Menina is going to cut the ribbon very, very shortly. Um, but finally, I'd like to sincerely thank both Mark and Maeve for their working, for working so hard to make the idea of bringing the exhibition to Dundalk a reality. So thank you. I think we should give them a round of applause. So, uh, Manina, would you come forward and um, you have a few words to say and you're going to cut the ribbon. Thank, thanks, Ronan, Maria, and Monina. Thank you all very, very much. That really brings to uh, an end the official part of the the, the morning. Um, I know. Uh, my wife has made arrangements to meet some friends and uh, go out for coffee and hope the rest of you are doing something similar. But uh, take, l linger around, the music will continue for a wee while and uh, continue to absorb the, the pictures back and front. Like we said, the book is on sale right here now. Christina from Down Syndrome Ireland is, 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 has come down from Dublin and will do the commercial end if anybody wants to buy it. It's 25 euros a copy, all proceeds to Down Syndrome Ireland. But the book is on sale all week in the tourist office behind the Panama Cafe here behind me. Um, so thanks a million for coming and making such a lovely occasion of it. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to know that all of you are so supportive of something that's very special for us. So uh, strike, up a, strike up there, Liam. Thank you. Mm -hmm.